Hi, my name is Sam. Welcome to another screencast episode on ColorMyLearning.com. In this video, we're going to look at uploading the course content onto Moodle. Now, we're going to add course content on the, into the course area, and we'll look, show you how to drag and drop files and zip file into the course area itself. After which, we will then look at how to edit the, co uh, the labels of the content that was just uploaded and how to reorder them in the course area. Log in to your Moodle. Now, you will need teacher right, editing teacher right access, um, commonly known as teacher role in Moodle, in order to be able to edit the course area. Look for the course that you are editing. Go into the course. Now click the Turn Editing On button on the top right corner. This will give you features and there will be a quick short message that says drag and drop file is now enabled on this course area. Um, browse with your file browser. Browse to the file that you wish to upload. Now this may involve a bit of a rearrangement of your desktop. Make sure that you've got both windows open side by side, or what I've done here is to slightly overlap the course area with uh, my file explorer. Click, hold down the button, drag and drop the file into the course area itself. Now you can do this for multiple files as well. Click on one corner, drag it across to highlight multiple files, drag both files, and drop it into the course area and off it goes. Now, the second thing that we'll be looking at actually is the folders, the uploading of folders. Often you'll find that you have folders that you've already organized your file within it, and there may be some subfolders within that file as well, uh, within that folder itself. What you can do is to save you time, is to right click on the folder itself and turn it into a compressed file. Now, on the window operating system, you can do this quite easily by the right-click menu as well, but choose stand, Send to Compress File. Now that way it then generates a zip file containing the, the folder itself and all the files within it, including the subfolders within it. I will then drag this file as I did before, the zip file, and drop it into the course area. Now Moodle is clever enough to detect that you're trying to upload a zip file. It will then give you the option of either up, um, uploading the file, unzip the file and create a folder on the course area, which is what we're going to do. The other two options we will visit uh, at a later date. So I click on update, Upload. It then goes on to upload the file. And when you click on All Worksheets, which I have um, created here, you will then see the content. Now, uh, Mac users may want to look at um, clearing up after after uploading a certain files because there will be um, some duplicate files due to versionings of the document within this. Um, so Windows users would not have to worry about that. Um, so to, to just to recap quickly, um, we looked at uploading single files, uploading multiple files by manual selection of multiple files and drag and drop and we've looked at zipping a folder and uploading that zip uh, folder into Moodle. Now we're going to look at editing the labels. Now most often um, you would rename you name your um, Word document according to your own personal preference um, with names that you would understand but not necessarily what the, the learners would understand. So in this case we're going to edit the um, label itself for that particular resource. We'll call it Worksheet 1 for Lesson 1. Now this um, little tool tip here lets you um, explains to you how to commit the changes. You need to press Enter to commit or Escape to cancel. So I'll press Enter to commit the change and there you go. We've updated the label itself. Um, you can do this uh, on, on the folder you can also do that on a folder. Simply click on this little edit icon, which is a pen icon, um, and edit. Now, if you don't want to commit the change, press escape, which I will do now, and you're back to square one. But if you do, um, again, just simply press enter. So here I am, press enter, and that change has been committed. Now, 
we will also be looking at this is the final thing that we're looking at this uh, on for this video which is to move or rearrange uh, the content within your course area you can do this quite simply in editing mode um, you can drag the four headed arrow click hold down the button drag it down and that's it so now you you've rearranged content um, of your again we're going to show you this click drag drop and that's it it's quite simple and when you're when you're done click turn editing off and you're back to normal on your course area now that's all um, for this video and just to recap quickly we've looked at how to add course content by drag and drop either file a single file or multiple files and how to upload um, zip files with tips on how to create zip files in Mac and how to create zip files in window um, and then the lastly, we looked at how to edit the labels when you uploaded the documents or the folder and how to re reorder the content within the um, course area itself. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. For more information, visit us on colormylearning.com. Re remember to share this tutorial on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you and I hope to see you soon.